On Friday, the Board of Land and Natural Resources gave their okay to an expanded geothermal resource exploration permit on Kona's Hualalai Volcano. The Department of Land and Natural Resources Chief Engineer, Cardi Chang, presented the application to the Land Board. There's a list of sites. I do want to mention that on March 27th, previously nine sites were already approved by the Board. The applicant had gone back and redefined the project <coughs> determined that additional 10 sites were needed. So this is just approval of the additional 10 sites for exploration. I do want to express that this is all ag land. This is non-invasive exploration as well. Any questions? What is non-invasive? Basically, it's not drilling into the ground. We're basically doing, um, they're putting the rods in the ground, maybe like six inch to a foot deep which measures resistivity, and based on the results of that, they can determine if that area has potential for development in the future. So at that time, if there is potential, developers would use this information to determine whether or not they want to explore more invasively in the future, which would then be we drill slim holes or something like that to actually go down so many thousand feet into the resource to tap the resource for exploratory type of wells. Other questions? Cardi. Yes. How, how are the other sites doing? What is other it, sites? It, the geothermal. I mean, no, the ones that were approved on March. Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe they started yet. They haven't started? I, I thought they were going to start this summer. So I think what they're doing is they're probably waiting for the permit to be issued for all of these sites. Because I think since nine sites already approved, um, this next 10 sites, if approved today, will issue a permit for all 19 sites and then that will allow them to start the process. It looks like they secured ownership they need uh, surface control, so they reached out to the various owners on the table. And before they can go on, they need permission from the landowner to do non-invasive or any type of exploration. This map, taken from the submittal for the BLNR agenda item, shows the general locations of the new exploration requests. They'll be looking into spots in Kona, like off Hinalani Street in Coloco, as well as locations on either side of Keimanani Drive east of the airport. The applicant is the University of Hawaii. They were not present for the meeting, but there was one public testifier. Terry Napeahi of the Pele Defense Fund made the trip to Oahu to share her opinion. Hello. Board of uh, Land and Natural Resources. My name is Terry Napiahi. I am a representative of Pele Defense Fund, and I'm here to uh, to, to um, address the issue of geothermal. And a reminder of those that may be still on the Board of Land and Natural Resources that remember the history of the impact that it might or has had on a community uh, till this day. And um, I think the number one issue that Pele Defense Fund had on the issue of geothermal and the journey is the uh, the uh, desecration of a deity. And I'm just here to remind um, the Board of Land and Natural Resources on that that aspect and the years of, of um, issues within the, the Kuna geothermal, um, ge uh, ge geothermal issues. And just rem a reminder of, till this day, um, a community asking for for some kind of listening ear to the impact. Presently going through a health study for the community at the Board of Land, um, I, I think it's a planning director asking for a health study to be uh, done for the people of Puna and also for um, the native impact it has on our people of the journey of our community. And Reminder of the uh, impacts one geothermal has on a community and has had since 1981. And, um, and uh, really ask uh, that you not continue to do that on the west side and at least allow the people on the west side to know the impacts that a geothermal plant would have on them. Uh, and so take into consideration that there will be people on the west side that will be educated and should be educated on the impacts of geothermal drilling. 
And um, thank you very much. Thank you. The discussion led into Napeahi's experience with geothermal over the years in Pune. It has been journey since you know the early 80s. Um, they've had other geothermal plants in Kahaolea, Volcano of Pune. And, um, and I think they have had a final judgment um, through courts, through the Public Defense Fund versus Campbell Estates and the swapping of land at Volcano Puna. Um, at first, the, the geothermal plants were drilling and the sludge or the access was being um, blown into the air. So EPA was involved um, and where they had, they're now re-injecting into the aquifer. And so uh, testing has been done on the particulates that, um, you know, have come out through the geothermal, um, what do you call, emissions of hydrogen sulfide. And so that has been an issue, and uh, to this day... Has it been uh, directly affected the people by the sludge? Uh, they've had um, terrible, you know, the, the impact on the, 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 the emissions, the smell is still there. And they still have people asking for a decision, you know, to be made on relocation. So they've had relocation for some of the people that live within 100 miles or, or within a mile radius of geothermal, that one. Plant. And we've had many discussions in, you know, county to, to have uh, um, also evacuation plans done uh, for the company. The company has been. Um, the last revised uh, evacuation plan was in 1990. I read it, and I'm not even sure if the city and county has an updated evacuation plan for just that one plant. And right now we have Puna Alliance, Puna Pono Alliance, that is, uh, is in the middle of a lawsuit um, asking for, um, for a health study to be done and also for the planning depart, uh, directors or the department to at least have a cumulative impact health study done for the people of Pune. And I think right now it's pending uh, at the planning de uh, department as to whether the funds will be released for the cumulative impact health study. They had um, a health study done by, um, I think it was Adler, I think he was. And they're requesting for another um, health study to be done. And it was approved, but still waiting for some technical, um, I guess, issues on the releasing of monies right now as we speak. So it, it's not like it's not a, um, an issue that we should be taking lightly. You know, there, there has been years, 35 years of people concerned of this issue. I, I, I just want to, um, if I may, um, pull it back to this actual agenda yeah. item, which is testing. So, appreciate your. Oh no, your, okay. But, um, yeah. That was. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. So, I appreciate. That. No problem. Any other? Any other questions? Okay. Thank you.